Good Day Grade 11s. In our last lesson, we investigated power dissipation in a series circuit. In this lesson, we will investigate how power is lost or dissipated in a parallel circuit. To do this, let's go to the lab. In our circuit, we have three cells in series, connected to a light bulb and an ammeter and a switch in series. We have also placed a voltmeter in parallel across the light bulb. We close the switch and take the ammeter and voltmeter readings. The ammeter reads 0,2 amps and the voltmeter 3,75 volts. Note the brightness of the light bulb. We compare this with the brightness of the bulbs in the new circuits as we add more light bulbs to the circuit. As usual, we record our recordings in a table. There are two columns for the current because we will measure the total current in the circuit as well as the current in each branch. There are also columns for the potential difference and for the calculation of power. We recall that we can calculate power by multiplying the potential difference V by the current I. Let's fill in our first values in the table. You will note that since there are no branches at the moment, the total current to the circuit is the same throughout the circuit. Now we add a second light bulb in parallel. Note that we put an ammeter in series in each branch so that we can determine the current through the branches. Finally, we connect the voltmeter across both light bulbs. We measure the current through these two light bulbs as well as the potential difference across the two light bulbs. The reading on the ammeter in the main circuit is now 0,4 amperes. The reading on the ammeter in branches are now 0,2 amperes and that on the voltmeter is 3,5 volts. Let us now add these values to our table. The ammeter reading in the main circuit has gone up. However, the current in the branches remains the same and is the same in both branches. We should have expected this because we know that resistors in parallel are current dividers. Let's look at the brightness of the bulbs again. It might be a bit difficult to see, but if we put the images of one bulb next to the image of two bulbs, we can see that the light bulbs have exactly the same brightness. Now we are going to add a third light bulb in parallel with an ammeter on its branch. Again, reconnect the voltmeter so that it is now across all three light bulbs. The reading on the ammeter in the main circuit is now 0,6 amperes, while the ammeter's readings in each of the branches are the same. We have 0,2 amperes and the voltmeter reads 3 volts. Let us now add these values to our table. We will check the brightness of the bulbs one more time. You should be able to see that the brightness of the light bulbs remains the same. But to be sure, let's compare the images side by side. Here you see the images of the single bulb, two bulbs in parallel, and finally three bulbs in parallel. What do you notice? No matter how many light bulbs we add in parallel, the brightness of the light bulbs remains the same. Now let's analyze our results. Look at the table of results from the experiment. What do you notice about the ammeter readings as we add light bulbs in parallel? Do you see that as we add more light bulbs in parallel, the current increases in the main circuit? Why do you think this happens? We are going to use a special animation to help us understand this a bit better. Here you can see that there are three light bulbs connected in parallel you will note that there is an ammeter in the main circuit. At the moment, there is no current because each branch of the circuit has a switch that is open at the moment. Now, let's close the switch in the first branch. Do you see the readings on the ammeter? Notice how fast the charges are moving around the circuit. Now, let's close the switches on the second branch. Notice how the reading on the ammeter in the main branch has increased while the current in each of the branches remains the same. Can you see that the charges are now flowing faster in the main circuit, but still at the same speed in the branches? Finally, let us close the third switch. Once again, the current in the main circuit increases, but the ammeter readings in the branches remain the same. 
we can also see that the charges are moving faster in the main circuit. Remember that when we have more resistors or light bulbs in parallel, the entire resistance is smaller. Therefore, the charge flows faster. Now, let's look at the voltmeter readings. What do you notice? We can see that the voltmeter readings remain the same. Now let's use these measurements to calculate the power in each case. We'll first use our measurements to calculate the power supplied to each light bulb. To calculate the power supplied in each branch, we use the current reading in each branch as well as the voltmeter reading. Here you can see that I have completed the table. What do you notice about the power measurements? The power in each light bulb is the same, no matter how many light bulbs we add in parallel. Do you remember what happened to the brightness of the light bulbs as we added more light bulbs in parallel? We saw that the brightness of the light bulbs remained the same, no matter how many light bulbs we add in parallel. We know that the brightness of a light bulb is an indicator of the amount of energy being converted per second, hence the power. So, because the light bulbs all have the same brightness, they dissipate equal amounts of power. Now, let us look at the power that is being dissipated across the whole circuit as more light bulbs are added in parallel. In order to do this, we use the total current in the main circuit and multiply this with the potential difference across the circuit. What do you notice about the power that is lost? As we add more light bulbs in parallel, although the power in each branch remains the same, the total power dissipated across the circuit increases. So, in conclusion, the brightness of a light bulb is an indication of the power being dissipated. As we add more light bulbs in parallel, the brightness of the light bulbs is not affected. This means that the power across each light bulb is the same. However, since the current increases as we add more light bulbs in parallel, the total power dissipated across the circuit increases. Grade 11s, you will find more information about electric circuits at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video. Till later, goodbye.